Hello everyone. Thanks for joining. Bangesh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. That's good. Happy 4th of July. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, where we were. So, we started accounts payable. It's a sub module in FI. And a quick recap, what we covered so far, we have uh, established our company, organizational structure is completed. Global settings are also complete. Our GL configuration is done, including chart of account, grouping, uh, including the creation of master data, which is creation of GL master. And we have learned using these GLs, different types of postings, how we perform different types of transaction posting in SAP, how to use different applications in finance module to leverage the efficiency of SAP, holding a document, parking a document, sample document, reoccurring document, reversal document, how to use a template, how to delete a document, all those things including foreign currency postings, foreign currency revaluations, etc, etc. And then different reports we covered in our last session, how we can see the transaction that we post using these GLs and how and where we can check the balances, individual GL balances, report wise, line item, FBL3N, FS10N, FB03, and F.10. We also covered how to use dynamic selections, how to use different filter criteria, how to create variants to access frequently used reports with a predetermined user specific layouts we covered our last session. We also covered in our last session what is uh, accounts payable module and uh, now we will start our configuration of accounts payable. Accounts payable is nothing but all procurement cycle is managed using accounts payable. When I say procurement cycle means when we procure, procurement is nothing but purchasing. When we purchase uh, something, meaning raw material, we have to receive the goods, right? When we create a PO, then we send this PO purchase order to our vendor, then vendor will send us the the requisite materials, we will receive the material, uh, the address that you have provided uh, in, in your PO will receive the goods we will verify the goods are received according to the specification laid down in our PO prices units everything is intact according to the specified instructions directions in PO uh -huh. Uh, are you uh, moving the screen or something like this or you're uh, showing it from me some specific area because it's just the booklet is open yeah configuration of the account payable yeah okay right so so i'm explaining what is ap right accounts payable accounts payable oh. is a sub module the sub module is what we co what we will do in accounts payable whatever we purchase we have to we have to pay right so cycle will start from the procurement purchase order and then will this cycle will end when you will pay your vendor. So this cycle, all activities within this cycle will be covered in accounts payable. So we will create some master data. 
right similarly we created master data analyst in our uh, gl learning which was uh, gl master now we will have some configuration grouping everything in accounts bill then we will post some transactions we'll purchase some material we will we will pay our invoices right and we will see in different reports how much we owe how much we purchased right everything will be done using accounts payable application so let's get started guys uh, we have to start with the creation of vendor accounts group we have created when we were learning a gl we have create we had created gl accounts group obd4 now obd3 is a t code you can go SPRO or you can go OBD3. So you tell me the configuration and the uh, account table is the sub uh, sub module of what? FI. FI. Right. We have to we have to go financial accounting new. New then. Then we have to go accounts receivable, accounts payable. Then we have to go vendor accounts. Then we have to go master data. Then we have to go preparation of creating vendor master data. Now you will see here define accounts group with screen layouts. First one. Execute it. Now. 138 groups are already established and defined in this client 800 which is a training client now we can group our vendors right uh, for example we we learned in gl we group our gl based on for example administration administration expenses marketing expenses bank accounts expenses incomes right similarly i have different types of vendors some vendors are international vendors some are domestic vendors some are one-time vendor right so we can group them right suppliers special suppliers right depends on the requirement of the company and the and then the business process they are following what kind of industry they are in so we can create different groups so we'll go new entries you can give any freely defined alphanumeric uh, we'll go we'll follow this manual so we'll go with the our company code which is double two double two and l o of to the local group right we can create the way you like it's convenient for you now we'll give some description what is this this is local vendor we can give so it is not required to give double two double two right in a typical uh, real-time uh, scenario you we don't need to provide this right so why uh, I ask you to give your company code at the end of the description so you should know you could understand this account group that belongs to my company code because you will practice a lot there are a lot of other people are practicing using the same server so you will not get lost so always give in the description an ID that can you can see but even at looking at it you can tell this is my account group that I have created if you created a company let's say 5555 so you can give 55 LO just for the practice purpose so if you check this box this could be a one-time vendor right? Right? one-time vendor is a vendor that you are not dealing uh, frequently but uh, the non one time vendors are vendors that you have contract with for example if you are manufacturing tire manufacturing company so you will buy a rubber from a vendor that will supply you 
and they will give you the invoice every month right so uh, for example um, per your uh, instructions and need of your construction or manufacturing they can supply you the goods or raw material now so you can also based on the group the vendor account group you can have your field status also so you can uh, make different fields right similarly for the field status group right so you can choose right what you want uh, the fields to as a suppress optional right so we can always go and see in the control you see reconciliation account you can make reconciliation account as a required entry so reconciliation will be under company code oh, and already exist with the same key double to double to or so this is already created someone created we can delete it hello and you can give local vendor and then sir why we deleted with the previous one i didn't got that one sir what was the reason we deleted because somebody else is already created in the system right okay you did not create right okay. so i deleted because i want to use that double two l o as my account group don't delete it right you as a when you practice don't delete but i know nobody is using this server other than you right so you didn't create it right you didn't create this double two l o right now company code uh, you can give account management reconciliation account as a required entry save it so whenever i will create a vendor master i have to provide the reconciliation gl account right so this is the same and we will save it create uh, another group also we can create foreign vendor finger right and also choose reconciliation account as required field this is already created again f o we have created two groups so you can create one time vendor as well if you like give uh, double two double two and for one time vendor oh, f o and l o the, this both i can name it myself you can what ye code hai is it a code or a specific code or f o l o is a specific code or i can give it myself so so we have to define right right so you have to give right okay so whatever comes in my mind i can give the number or is there not whatever comes in your mind but it should be a, a sap best practices right you cannot give flying boy 1 2 3 no 
this video looks like a professional right yeah check this box for one time under and give a reconciliation account you can choose any other things right sort key you can make as a required field what up to you right based on the requirement you so this is already created one time vendor you can delete if you want you can choose another name but it's fine we created two groups that's enough right now we have to create the number ranges again the configuration step xkn1 or you can use the same menu path and go and create number ranges so number as uh, number ranges for vendor accounts change so have a v2 so what double two double two is already created right so i will give what number I should give? So seven one is the last one, so we'll give seven two. Right, the available number. So I'm giving a range when I will create my vendors. System will pick one number, so you can choose any one. I will choose 600 available numbers 6 to 699 and save it so I have created one number range right and the number ID I created was 7 7 2 now I will assign this 72 ID to my accounts group. Okay, we created now we will assign. Exactly. So I have to create one by one for uh, our three groups. We have created three gr uh, three groups, right? F local vendors, foreign vendors, one-time vendors. So we have to create three IDs. I have created first one seven two for my foreign, uh, sorry, the local vendors. So I have to position and go to double two L O, which is my group that I just created double two L O and against this number range field I have to give seven two that I just created and then save it okay so this is not uh, error not related to our configuration system is verifying these IDs are not created data is saved so we will work with just the reason that the 72 d it was not saving no that is not uh, error that was uh, somebody else actually created a group a group and and they they didn't create that uh, number range id and they assigned right so system was uh, verifying this id number range number range id doesn't exist system was not allowing me to save right that's not relating to our configuration we have double to lo similarly you can create another 
number range ID for your foreign vendor, right? You can quickly go and create. Create a number range for vendor account. Go to change. 72, right? We, we will create 73. And we can choose our free interval. We can just give this one 121 to 150 and save 73 and then we'll go to 74 also. Save it. Assign these IDs to your vendor account group. Position double two FO foreign vendor seven three is ID I just created and enter. Okay. I'm just creating a group that has saved now I will assign number range to my last and third group double two OT one time vendor and my ID is seven four right that is saved under transport request this this part is done now the next thing we have to define part of our configuration for accounts payable module tolerance group so we'll go financial accounting financial accounting new accounts receivable and payable business transactions outgoing payments manual outgoing payments global setting sorry manual outgoing payments define tolerances right now will create a blank tolerance I already explained why we are creating a blank because when we create a blank tolerance we don't need to assign blank is already by default assigned right. so company code is double two double two right tolerance group leave it, leave it as a blank and just give like any description tolerance group double two, double two company code So a lot of different settings I'll create as wide open, right? So if you set any amount here, right? Tolerance is what? Tolerance is a limit. You're defining a limit uh, up to what amount invoice can be cleared, right? If you if you purchase something for hundred dollar and then you're paying for uh, paying ninety nine dollars, is this allowed? If you have defined one dollar as your tolerance, yes, system will allow you to post in difference will be posted to a separate GL right in accounting uh, both GL should be balanced so that is uh, used as a criteria to balance your GL tolerance right even you go bank right there are different uh, employees in a bank have different authorities and tolerances right if you go for two million dollar check your cashier may go to 
his or her manager for approval right that's called tolerance so in SAP we define tolerance for automation and clearing of invoice and postings so you can choose uh, payment terms from invoice check this box right only grant partial discount there are different settings right available you can save it. so tolerance is so I have I have created blank tolerance so any amount is permissible right so you can have a grace time right for example your your payment due is in 30 days you, if you enter three here so you are giving actually three days as a grace days right so yeah you know when you purchase something right even if with your accounts uh, your after your payment day they give you three days right uh, if you pay within those three days they're not gonna impose any penalty or interest or something right grace days so if you can pay within 33 days so total amount will be due in 33 days yeah otherwise after 33 days they will start charging you the interest and penalties so you save it tolerances now we'll create few GLs right because we have to purchase a material so we need to have a material as a GL created so we'll go first and we have to create a recon account as well right so So we'll create a raw material GL. How we create a GL Fuzzle? What is uh, the T code to create a GL? SPRO file first we go. No, SPRO. that is that is master data. No, that is not SPRO. That is end user task as well. This is a master data. You go FS00, right? Or to create a GL, you can go from easy access screen, go to accounting, financial accounting general ledger and then account sorry master records GL and then you can go collective processing uh, sorry individual processing and then you go to FS00 create GL centrally double click but we don't go through SPRO mode certain things you do through SPRO certain things you do from easy access did we done this from easy access this one the one gl you're talking yeah you tell me i think it's from uh, no, spro no. mode no who told you spro so why we came back to gl sir? because we have to create a gl material right we have to change the company code so we have we need a material right in vendor accounts payable you purchase material and then you pay right so how you will purchase and procure material how you will post in SAP if you don't have GL everything is posted through GL right okay so how you create a GL can you tell me how you create a GL material material yes what what you need first to create a GL in SAP I don't know sorry I forgot okay you go first to check the group right what group you will create this GL in OBD4 right or you can go through any uh, from SPR right accounts group right so you go to financial accounting new where you can see the group do you know finance general ledger accounting okay okay define account group right so check account group obd4 now you see uh, double two double two is your uh, chart of account accounts group 
and chart of accounts are linked to your GL. You need chart of account and GL groups in order to create GL in SAP. We already covered in detail. We created a bunch of GLs. Now we are creating a GL for material or inventory. So you see any group capital loan sales reserve material consumption manufacturing expenses it will be under current assets right so inventory is your current asset right you can create another group also 200 100 So 200, 100. So I believe we have created already 200, 100 as our bank account. Let's see. Under current assets, how many GL we have only? Uh, so next number will be 200, 101. Right? Go to create button. Give the number 200, 101. This is how to create a GL. So now choose the same group from here which is current assets and liabilities CEST this is freely we defined these right now we can give inventory right Bangish did you finish your organizational structure global setting everything in SAP in your company code organizational structure yeah something it's you you heard this word for the first time no 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 I didn't hear it this first time so, okay so but you understood my question right yeah I understood so answer me then I didn't define in my company when are you gonna define after five years? No, 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 not after five years. When? After we finish with the class? No, not finish with the class. I will do it. Okay, please try to finish your structure and all those settings so you can create different different GLs. Right? Follow. Okay. Now you have to give the description. Right? Go to the next tab. Oh, sorry. This is the balance sheet account, right? Make sure you choose this radio button for the balance sheet account. Now we have to click this for the balance sheet accounts. Always click this only balances in local currency tolerance. If we leave it blank, that the, the tolerance we have created wide open will be applied automatically. Sort key, you can give vendor number. So sort key for the vendor number initially we use posting date right now we will use 12 I believe vendor number right so what is the use of sort key Bangish the use of sort key is to check the okay so So you to create go to sorry go to line item display also you can check same is reputation right field status group you can choose so you have G001 and then that's it now you have to save it when you save system will create one GL master that we can use to post inbound procurement GL is created now we'll create one more GL which is reconciliation account. Reconciliation accounts are called recon account. Sort These are the subject. Po populate the assignment number field in the items of the customer vendor and general ledger. Well, you, so you Google it successfully, right? <laughs> That's good. That's good. How you came to know that I Google it? Because the language. The, yeah, I know the definition, right? This is SAP definition. I know. Okay, now you go. I 
have made an effort. I mean, I'm serious about myself. Yeah, in order to cheat, you need to do some effort, right? No, no I'm not cheating, sir. I'm not cheating. I know you're not cheating. I'm saying in order to cheat means you are googling it to answer. So now you know what is sort key, right? Yeah. Understand the concept, not the definition, right? I, I'm, I'm sure 100% you are not clear on sort key still. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I accept it. I accept it. Yeah, I'll explain what is the use of sort key. Give me one minute. First, we'll create this GL. Okay, so reconciliation accounts are control accounts, right? These are the liability accounts under CLPR. So we'll check the group again. Go to your company code. Sorry, the chart of account. check for the liability this one 100 500 so we don't have any GL under liability so we go to create a new one 100 500 is our range okay so we'll go this is also this is again we are defining a new GL. Yes, uh, so reconciliation account, right? For we have to assign this reconciliation account under vendor master creation. So this is uh, accounts group under CLPR, right? Current liabilities. This one. It's a balance sheet account. And now you have to give short text as you can keep reconciliation accounts sundry creditors c e r e d i t o r s creditors account and you can copy it control data So for the reconciliation account, don't select this and then give to line item display, sort key, account type vendor is vendor, choose this, sort key, you can give anyone. Not an issue. Now you have to give G0, right? No, so we have G067 is group also, SAP standard, you can give anyone, it doesn't matter. 67 for reconciliation account. And save it. Now, we have created two GLs, now we will create master data for our vendor. XK01. So wherever we will purchase our material, you have to create that vendor master in your SAP system. So, so vendor master is created at three levels. Similarly, when we were learning GL, remember GL is also created at chart of account level and at a company code level or centrally. Same way, vendor is also created at three levels. So we will create it centrally, right? So company code is double two double two, right? And we have to choose a group. And so choose a group. We will create this vendor under our local vendor. So look for double two double two. Else, go to search double two double two L O. Sorry, double two L O. This one, right? So this is number range assigned, right? 
is it one time no it's not one time click it now we will uh, 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 how we will come to it it's one time or no yeah we know this vendor a b i mean the the vendor this is one time and this is not one time vendor right because we have a different group for one time vendor this for one time vendor we have a group called double two o t i chose double two l o which is local vendor you are not paying attention that's why company now we have to give a vendor name right so we are purchasing material so material supplier you can give any num any name right material supplier inc this is a vendor right this so they will give you the name and everything right so search mean uh, if you enter a search criteria here and do you have thousands and thousands of vendors so you can just enter material and this vendor will pop up right so you can give uh, address for that vendor right so we can give one two three four five anything and country is us because it's local for for foreign we will give a different country right. so press enter so many fields right many information not specific to you maybe right location tax identification number authorization corporate group their fax number tax number vat number vat number is value added tax registration number right all those things right date of birth sex place of birth profession whatever and then vendor can be individual person or can be a company enter this is the bank information right if you want to pay automatic payments now here is a recon account right this is a required field so we have created 100 500 and then this is cash management group is required you can choose anyone not required but enter payment terms payable immediately and save so we've successfully created our vendor master in order to create a vendor master so we have number range 600 699 the first number system picked 600 so our vendor number is 600 now we can similarly create other vendors in other groups as well right this is done okay so xk01 is to create right now let's say you want to change something so you can go to change also from here or you can go xk02 right xk02 is to change vendor master let me show you how we change something so this is our vendor so this is if you check this box it will show that address if you check this it will show you whatever you maintain under control and, and under general data under control tab right under payment so I want to see everything right enter now I want to change uh, let's say name to corporation I'm changing the name right they fax you with if we have changed a name from material supplier Inc to material supplier corporation save it 
इंटर सॉरी इंटर 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 क्यों चेंज कर रहे हैं व्हाट्स द रीजन आई आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू हाउ टू चेंज अ वेंडर मास्टर ओ राइट ओके इफ यू चेक दिस डबल चेक इनवॉइस इफ यू आर बाइंग फ्रीक्वेंटली फ्रॉम दिस वेंडर सो समटाइम दे इनवाइस यू टू टाइम्स फॉर द सेम मटेरियल राइट सो यू इफ यू चेक दिस सिस्टम विल चेक द डबल इनवाइस एंड गिव यू द वार्निंग मैसेज इफ यू पोस्टेड दैट से टू थाउजेंड डॉलर इनवाइस एंड अगेन यू आर पोस्टिंग टू थाउजेंड अमाउंट सेम अमाउंट सिस्टम विल गिव यू अ वार्निंग मैसेज मेक श्योर यू हैव यू आर नॉट डुप्लीकेटिंग इट सेव इट नाउ वी चेंज इट राइट आई एम जस्ट शोइंग द फंक्शनैलिटी हाउ टू create a vendor how to change a vendor right now okay i want to see if your boss say okay somebody changed the vendor master and they changed the banking information can you check who did it what is changed so you go xk04 xk04 will display changes made to this vendor any vendor you if you input let's say vendor 600 and enter now you see field that is changed name is changed sort key changed double check invoice this change right we change it right yeah okay i want to see name so it's telling me the name is changed before old name was material supplier inc new name is material supplier corporation and that is changed on this old, date old name is at the end and okay 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 right that's how you cheese track the changes understood and already wo ek dafa focus karke dekhu na ki wo jahan wo hai ho sakta hai last time main concentrate sahi nahi karo fir usme ye ho jata hai ki main iske practice karte waqt main apni jahan stuck ho raha hu wo kar fk06 is to delete a vendor right we're not going to delete f x 06 x sorry x k06 my bad you see if you want to change if you want to delete we're not going to we'll not delete right this just for the demonstration purpose now whenever we make any changes in sap system or develop any object any master data is saved in tables there is one t code that you can check the data in sap what is that t code se16n na no, no, no. this is for what to check the 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 data master data right save lf01 lf b1 lf a1 L F A one. L F A one. L F A one. L F B one. L F A one. नहीं L F A one जो है ये वो क्या है? This is for the अच्छा ये वो टेबल है अच्छा टे चेंजिंग द डेटा ओके एल एफ ए वन एल एफ बी वन डेटा इज सेव एट टू लेवल कंपनी कोड लेवल राइट जनरल डेटा कंपनी कोड डेटा एंड परचेजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दिस इज द टेबल where the data is saved right so your your vendor will be your vendor number is 600 right right so you can check 
so that's how you check the data that is saved in tables using se16 and data browser decode so how you check bangish the master data for gm in tables what are those tables we go to ob16 no we go to no everything is saved in tables right right sap is all about tables don't memorize don't sit and memorize the tables you just practice 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 it will automatically be memorized this is something is wrong with this uh, server is slow let me reinitiate so how to kill a transaction stop it another session open sc 16 n is the decode to display the table that is saved lfa1 lfb1 right lfb1 is the table at the company code level that is saved lfb1 so we have to give the vendor number which is our vendor number is 600 company code is double two double two and system will show that vendor we just created created on this date created by this person sort key was used 12 vendor number reconciliation account 100 500 all those settings that you did or failed is display in here right if you go to lfa1 for the same vendor go to vendor number 600 right and then execute this is material supplier corporation this is postal code and then this is the address and all those fields right that's how you check master data tables Now, this is done, data is done. Now, the next configuration step we need to perform is to define the document type number ranges, right? So, we'll go to OBA7. KR is for document uh, KR document type is for vendor invoice. KZ is the document type SAP standard document type for vendor payment. KA is the vendor document transaction and the number ranges. So let's check the number ranges. OBA7 is the T code. And then we have already defined SA for GL, right? SA document type, right? 
we have maintained number ranges and all those things now we will do for the same for the vendors so go to position go to kr vendor invoice right double click so 19 is the id so make sure that the 19 under your company code number ranges are maintained or not so 19 so we have to go give 19 for the year 2020 give the go to f4 okay don't save it okay 999 because other people will not be able to save and create any number ranges so 2100 to 2199 just give this much range save it so we have created the kr document type which is the vendor invoice now we'll have to go for the vendor payment also kz double click this is 15 number range go into your company code go to change 15 go to in add into a interval give 15 id which is under say doc i mean the document type give 2020 is your year and then go to f4 2200 to 2299 don't give wider range save it save it number ranges are not transportable you have to maintain in each and every client what is client mr bangish for the ka also we have to these are the SAP standard document type. They are enough. I'm the client. What is client? 19 number ranges, right? Oh, this is KA. KA is also for 19. Double two, double two. We have created already 19. That's fine. So we are saving that. Yeah, we are saving, sir. Tell me what is client. Okay. So now we have actually maintained the number ranges against the document type. We this is the reputation we did already this step uh, for our GL, right? Now we did for our vendor document types. Right. Now so these are the, just the same steps that I just maintained now so our configuration for accounts payable is complete from our next session we will start posting the invoices and then we will pay the vendors and we'll see different reports so in sap first thing is we need to define and configure right and then we have to do the end user end user mean we have to test whatever we develop it's working or not so that is also the end user task or posting the invoices right and the documents that will verify that our configuration is complete and correct so from the next session we will do our end user part meaning we will post invoice we purchase the material and then system will check all those settings and post a document we'll see the document posted document reports and then we will pay the invoice and we'll check the balances and all those things we'll continue in our my, next uh, session okay. 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 yes yes yeah, the thing I, I uh, I'm not sure, but when I see the uh, glove lecture, last lecture was interest calculation, but before after that we did something. That is uh, that I think we didn't send uh, after the interest calculation. There was a lecture. I think that's missing. You didn't send. We have attended another lecture. That was something. Uh, other than interest calculation, but you didn't send that, I think. I'm okay. just asking. Interest calculations upar ek lecture hamara tha. So, wo abhi tak nahi hua na? Kaisa jis ne kya? What was the lecture? 
the lecture was regarding um, this one right was, this one the foreign currency I'm not telling you you know that no I know one second I know it's in front of me in screen files Okay, don't close the phone. Wait, 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 wait for a while. Okay. Please. So, uh, reoccurring document foreign currency. Yes, yeah, I can interest see the I can see the date, right? Yeah, yeah. But before and after interest calculation, there was there was another one sample document a reoccurring. Yeah, that is uploaded too. Okay. Asha uh, Aziz, by ye recording band I have to talk to you. Okay. Can I call you on WhatsApp? Yes, sure. Well, let me finish this and we'll continue in our next session, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Take care. Take care.